when I drive around the countryside and I go past properties that have got corridors and treed up laneways and, and fenced off stepping stones and their paddocks, my mood lifts when I drive past those properties and I hope people have the same experience when they come past ours. Over the last 30 years, we've learnt the landscapes that we live in, particularly in some of this Riverina area, is, has been denuded um, and overcleared, and have been for some time now putting trees back in the landscape to tackle some of those issues around erosion, salinity, um, putting shade back into the landscape, protection from wind and the elements for livestock. It's really important. We've been planting trees for 25 years, and this tree out in particular was done through the LLS in order to link wildlife corridors and also to create shelter belts and sun protection for our livestock. In the 20 years that we've been planting trees, we've seen a big change to the farm. Oh, look, in gold dust wattle. When you go back and you see old photographs of when we when we were at various stages of tree planting, and you can see the development of the, the growth of the tree corridors, and you can say, wow, we've made a big impact in the last few years, and it's been a, been a fun journey. I wanted to beautify the farm because I felt it was a bit of a moonscape. I also wanted to encourage biodiversity back into the space. That's a weed. A newly generated wattle. It has really yielded benefits for not only our, our biodiversity but also our livestock and our operations so it works really symbiotically. When we look at shelter belts that have been situated well within the landscapes we can see that there's a range of benefits so the production benefits from shelter belts include reducing wind speed which increases survival of livestock especially lambs are vulnerable in wet weather with high winds so we're reducing the wind speed we're stopping soil erosion in adjacent areas of paddocks they're also allowing increased infiltration of moisture and improving soil fertility through adding organic matter to the soils in the areas immediately surrounding the shelter belts. The flow on benefits are that we have improved livestock weight gain and this is driven by improved pasture productivity. This area of the farm is a good visual picture of the changes that we've made over the last 20 years. As you can see back behind me, there are no paddock trees, and this is what Cindy referred to as the moonscape. This little section here was two rows of trees that we planted back at the 2003-04. Um, um, at the time, I thought I was completely radical. You know, two rows, double fences, all a bit unnecessary, but what we've got is about six metres of trees. This is the latest development of our, our tree planting program. 30 metre wide corridors, direct seeded, a big barrier between us and the neighbours provides a big windbreak, it'll protect the stock. There'll be just so many benefits. We've got to do more. We've lost a huge amount of trees within these farming landscapes and whether you're protecting paddock trees or allowing natural regeneration or putting in shelter belts, they have huge benefits for both production and biodiversity. So we really need to start putting trees into these landscapes and the best time to do that, if you haven't already started, is now. So we're on the property of Badabajul, 35 k southeast of Hay. 7,000 hectares here, we graze a self-replacing merino flock and we breed Angus cattle. So this area is a native river in the grassland and it has like outcrops of, of timber and, and trees on it. So we're out here in Kaima paddock and this is an area that has got mature 4E trees but we've had this great regeneration of, of trees around the area. Previously, they would have been hammered by the stock and not be here by now, but um, we are about to put guards around all these trees to provide habitat for our livestock to shelter amongst, for the wildlife to take shelter on. We're a Plains Wanderer recovery property, and we're also, uh, the black falcon is an endangered species, so we're looking after them too, so we've got to provide nesting habitat for them. The wind out here can be quite volatile and um, when it's bare it um, just erodes the soil terribly so anything that, that breaks the wind is definitely a benefit to the, the landscape. And these plants actually enhance soil biology just by having more diversity. They not only fix nitrogen to the soil but um, they 
are photosynthesizing every day of the year, so they're putting sugars back into the soil to feed the, the bacteria and the fungi, so there's benefits all around. Here we're finding some seed on this tree, so we'll collect this when it's ripe and we'll uh, take it into the propagation facility that Landcare have got in hay and propagate seedlings, bring them back out, plant them out. If you're going to go down the line of planting trees, have a purpose and have a plan together of how that's going to form across your whole property and get some good advice from our LLS staff.